guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you five must do's when visiting Santa Barbara along with snippets of our recent vacation there. Uh, not too long ago we visited not only Santa Barbara but we also went up to, it's not very far from Santa Barbara, but we went up to Buellton and Solvang and uh, I will be making a video on that as well coming up. But I thought I would share it with you. Um, we have gone to Santa Barbara several times, my husband and I, in fact, that's where we got engaged. Um, but this is the first time we've gone with kids. And um, it kind of worried me a little bit just because Santa Barbara, uh, it tends to be a little bit of an older crowd. Um, it tends to be like couples in their late 40s to early 50s, people who have like teenagers or people who have kids already out of the house. It's not necessarily the first place you think of when you think family friendly, but there still is a lot of stuff to do for families up there. So I thought I'd make a video about it, especially since we were going there anyway. Um, and I always do a, a Google search wherever we go, uh, Santa Barbara with kids. I always put that um, on top of my search and um, a bunch of stuff pops up. So we had a great time. So I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff we did and maybe give you ideas if you are planning a trip, um, not only just to Santa Barbara, but maybe to a town that you don't necessarily associate with kids. So, I mean, if you go to like Orlando or Anaheim, it's pretty easy, like, duh, you know exactly what to do with children. But like Vegas or again, Santa Barbara or even San Francisco, um, it might be a little bit uh, trickier to decide. The first is pretty obvious and that is the beach. Santa Barbara is basically coastline and there are some great beaches there. Um, some of them can be a little bit more adult and like volleyball courts and things like that. Uh, but they have some great family friendly beaches. They even have a couple of playgrounds on the beach. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they're fairly clean. Um, like the water, when we went, uh, we went in early June and the water there was warmer than we have, um, like in Newport and stuff, which is the beach we normally go to. We either go to uh, Newport or Huntington and, um, the water is much colder here than it is there, which surprised me. Usually the more north you go, the water's colder, but for some reason it was nice and warm. The one thing I will say, I did not see any lifeguards at the first beach we went to. So definitely, I mean, you should be keeping an eye on your kiddos anyway. And I feel like most moms do when they go to the beach, but uh, just kind of as an amendment and to keep in mind, there might not be a lifeguard on duty, but it's a great, uh, it's a great activity to do for families at the beach. The kids can be noisy, they can be messy, within reason, obviously clean up after yourselves. Um, but it's definitely a family fun, uh, a family friendly place to visit when you go to Santa Barbara. The next thing to definitely consider is to walk along State Street. Now, years gone by, State Street was open to through traffic, at least it was when my husband and I were much younger. Um, but nowadays, uh, we just went there, gosh, a couple, like a week and a half ago, and the only traffic from vehicles is those crossing State Street, not driving along. And that's not just the farmer's market. We were there a few days, um, like we, we were there three days and it's completely closed off. Uh, State Street um, is kind of the famous drag in, um, in Santa Barbara. It's where all the shops and restaurants and stuff are. Um, now a lot of it is obviously geared toward adults, especially the restaurants, but there's still some family friendly stuff. They have a great cookie place called Insomnia Cookies. They have delicious, delicious cookies. They serve it to you warm and you can even get like a cookie ice cream sandwich that's like the size of your face. It's delicious. Uh, so if you're going, please check that place out. But, um, we ate every night we were there, we ate on State Street. They have a lot of outdoor seating, which if you have kids, I would recommend doing. As always, like I myself personally, I always bring stuff for the kids when we were going out to a restaurant, especially one that's geared more toward adults. I will bring them like a couple of crayons and a little notebook, and I'll bring them like Legos or Play-Doh, and not a crazy ton, just a small handful, and that tends to keep them busy while they're waiting for the food. And for most of us, once the food arrives, the kids are pretty well behaved because they're focused on eating. As long as you um, are giving them stuff to keep them entertained where they're not disruptive, um, you're not going to have any problems. So definitely check out State Street. It's a lot of fun. It's a historic street and um, there's a lot of great food. Next, the zoo. The zoo. Santa Barbara has a really great zoo. Um, it has a cute uh, train ride. It does cost extra uh, on top of admission, but it takes you around the entire park and it's um, 
like a smaller choo-choo train, almost like the one that's at Knott's Berry Farm. It's really, really cute. Uh, they have a lot of great exhibits. Uh, a lot of interactive stuff. Um, there's even like play area for designed for kids, kind of like for parents and kids to take a break from all the animals. There's this giant grassy hill and they keep um, like cardboard box cuttings from Amazon and wherever they, uh, they get deliveries at and the kids use them to sled down the hill. That kept our kids busy for like an hour. We had to pull them away and it was a hugely pop popular thing. But they have giraffes, they have gorillas, they have parrots, uh, just a lot of really fun exhibits. We saw one um, rattlesnake who was the most active rattlesnake I have ever seen in an exhibit. Um, they have axolotls, just a lot of great stuff. And in fact, we were hoping to see um, Jemina, who was the famous crooked neck giraffe at the zoo but unfortunately the last time we saw her my husband and I was the last time she was alive she actually passed away I believe in 2008 and they have a part of her skeleton uh, featuring her very crooked neck um, they have that displayed and I'll pop a picture in it so you can see um, she lived a very full life she wasn't um, in any way hindered as far as they could tell from her deformity uh, but she was very distinctive and she was very sweet. Um, so I, I got to talk to the kids about it and we got to see her skeleton, but unfortunately she wasn't there anymore. I was looking forward to seeing her, but that's okay. But still, it's a lot of fun. It's a great place and it is obviously geared toward families. So you can feel comfortable bringing your kids there and kind of letting them be children. The next place to go is definitely the Santa Barbara Mission. Now, if you have ever been anywhere along the California coast, you might be familiar with the one. Uh, if you are a native Californian, you probably had to do a report on a mission and build a, an example of one. I know I did in the fourth grade. Um, but there's a lot of great Spanish missions to visit. Most of them um, are open for visitation. I'm pretty sure all of them. Some are even state parks, actually. And I'll be talking about one that is a state park in my song bang video. Uh, but definitely check out the old Santa Barbara Mission. It's got beautiful grounds for the kids to walk in. The gardens are lovely. Uh, kids, at least my kids and my nieces and nephews, they always find the cemetery very fascinating. You can see a lot of old graves. And of course, the churches themselves, you get to walk in most of the time and they're really beautiful. And there's just a lot of history there, um, especially if you are Californian, it's good to know. It's a great place to get them walking around, see a little bit of history. Um, some stuff obviously, uh, is going to be touchable. Most of it isn't. It's not quite as interactive as a museum or anything like that, but it's still really pretty. The kids can walk around the gardens just fine. Um, and it's a beautiful spot to kind of go. And I don't know what it is, but every time that I've brought kids and I've brought not just my own kids to various missions, but my nieces and my nephews, I've taken them to missions and they've always been really well behaved. There's something that kind of makes them get reserved, maybe because they know it's a church. Um, you tend to be a little bit more hushed and quiet, unless of course you're very little. If you have like a toddler or a baby, obviously that's not going to be the case. Um, but I've, obviously that wouldn't be a problem if you're walking around the grounds and the gardens, maybe inside the church, you might want to skip but if you have a kid that's maybe five and up, uh, they tend to just kind of like be a little bit more zen, which is nice. So definitely give the missions a look. It's someplace that is, while it is museum-esque and uh, kind of um, no, don't touch that type of situation, it is definitely a place where you can feel comfortable bringing your families. Kids are obviously welcome and kids are actually expected to go. So definitely give it a look. My last suggestion for visiting Santa Barbara with kids is the Moxie Museum. This is a place that's actually geared toward children. It's a children, it's essentially a children's discovery center. This is one of the coolest places that we have ever taken the kids. They had so much fun there. We spent hours inside of it. It's beautiful, it's large. There are a lot of really fun exhibits. There's an enormous guitar with actual strings that you can plug. There's different magnet stuff. I'll show you this like liquidy magnet, like magnetic stuff that was really cool to look at. There's all kinds of air tubes where you can put objects in and watch them fly around. They even have um, like a Foley booth, you know, Foley artists, the people who do the sound effects for movies. Uh, they have several booths that your kids can actually go in and make sound effects and they put on their uh, they put on their headsets and they've got the little instruments that they can use to make stuff and they actually use 
real movie clips from actual films like they had speed and they had um night at the museum a couple of other ones where you can actually do the foley art for it and then you get to listen to your clip and they will upload it to their youtube which was really cool um it's a lot of fun and uh definitely worth a, a visit there's some great exhibits it's a place where kids are encouraged to touch everything obviously bring hand sanitizer <laughs> Uh, but it's a place where kids can kind of let their hair down, run around, and get involved and get their hands and stuff. So it's definitely worth a look, not only because it's a place where you can feel comfortable letting your kids walk around and touch things, but because it's just so cool. Definitely worth a visit. Okay, now that about wraps it up for destinations that are family friendly in Santa Barbara. But also, I want to um, just kind of point out to look for events that are geared toward children when you go we kind of stumbled onto one when we were walking to get breakfast on um it wasn't even state street i can't even remember the street but we were walking toward this little bakery and cafe and we spotted a bookstore so we decided to go in and browse and in this children's section um there was a sign for an event that day and we got to meet one of our favorite authors uh chris van dusen who was the author of the circus ship which i have mentioned a couple of times on my channel it's one of our favorites it's standard at bedtime he gave a signing, he read a couple of books, the kids took pictures with him. He actually just happened to be in town and knew one of the booksellers and offered the woman who owned the store um, if he wanted to go in and do a signing and she said sure. So uh, definitely look around, you never know. This was kind of like uh, kismet for us. It was something that was not planned, we didn't expect it. Uh, but it's definitely opened my eyes to some of the other possibilities to take my kids to. So um, it's something that I'm going to search up for our next um, vacation destination to see if there's any kind of local event for kids. Uh, it's definitely worth it. And you might see something uh, planned for a time where you can go back and um, introduce your children to something really, really cool. Anyhow, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, take care and happy travels.